影分身の術 So let me get this straight. You caught the shadow clone here to help you and do a shadow clone jutsu in a My Hero video. No, 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 no. You're supposed to be reviewing the game. You're supposed to inform the people to get this stupid headband and do your job. Okay? Capiche? I'm tired of you. Bye. I really don't know how to start this video. What is good, my people? It's your boy, Avatar Yaya. Back like I never left. We talking about My Hero Academia Wants Justice. Today, it's gonna be kind of a review, or more so notable, a heads up to you guys that wanna get this game. I'ma keep it a stack, this is kind of a review, but I don't feel like scripting it. So, if you wanna check out the actual scripted review, well bam! Go to my boy Prodigy X CD's video. I'm on there with it, and that one's in more detail. But this is my version, so hold on, stay with me. Should you buy My Hero Academia One's Justice? Now we're gonna break this down into three parts. We're gonna break it into the gameplay. We're gonna break it into the story mode, and we're gonna break it into the how fun is it? Is it fun? Is it okay? Is it just downright logical with this arena fighter? Does it give me the feeling of another game like Xenoverse did or like Dragon Ball did? This is the first My Hero console game, by the way, so I won't go too hard. However, this game already is a, 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 a okay start. However, the final product may not be as great as you may be expecting it to be. So let's talk about My Hero One's Justice Story Mode. Y'all want me to tell y'all how I feel about the One's Justice Story Mode? Watch this. So I played the My Hero One's Justice Story Mode, and this ain't it, Chief. <laughs> yeah, I did the villain story mode. It's just the same thing regurgitated. <laughs> Fam, we canceling My Hero One's Justice Story Mode. That story mode of My Hero Academia is not the wave. The story mode, if you watch the anime or read the manga, it does have the source material down to the T. However, it doesn't incite anything to make you want to go play the game more so the way the story mode works in my hero one's justice is you have a hero side and you got a villain side you're probably like oh that's cool you can see both sides of how everything works wrong pretty much what it is is literally you just scroll through like this little timeline you play your fights you can pick different characters and it's just ladder rinse repeat it seemed like a glorified arcade mode we gonna talk about that later but literally, if you beat one side of the story mode, at least I think if you beat both sides or one, you get all for one. I don't care about all for one. I'm not a big fan of all for one, to be honest with you. He ain't somebody I really, really want to unlock. However, the cutscenes in the game for One's Justice are probably some of the weakest. There's one cutscene that's really sexy, though. That's the cutscene where they fight um, Stain, all the uh, UA versus Stain. That's clean. That cutscene, that cutscene fire. Every other cutscene in the game is whack. Like the final cutscene where All Might versus All for One made me not want to look at that scene ever again nowhere else. It's that bad. Like it's so anticlimactic. You will be pissed off. I'll be pissed off for you if you watch that scene. Now let's talk about the other modes of the game. A lot of anime games don't let you do character customization. And I feel like this was one's justice way of not having to put on a tacky way of just saying, yo, my boy, we finna put in character customization, create a character, and give you like five characters for your final roster. That's not what they did with this game. I love how they did it. Let us customize our characters with other notable things for My Hero One's Justice or My Hero, period, dog. That is probably the most lit thing about this game. The character customization is so cool and so freaking raw to me. I love it. That is a really good thing about this game. Can't nobody take that away from One Justice. A lot of games do not do it. In the last game, I think that you can actually customize your character, at least the base roster, the main characters. I can customize freaking All Might, dog. Games don't let you do that. The last game I had that let me do that was Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution. And nobody liked that game either. 
<laughs> but regardless, you could do it here. That's a really good bonus. Now, we're finna talk about the freaking mission mode. It's a fun mode, but like, it's just adding challenges to it. You remember how back in the day in Ultimate Ninja you had challenges? I couldn't really, I don't know how I feel about it. It's a cool mode. It's there. It gives you something extra to do with the game. All right. I don't see you playing a lot because you could just replay story mode or just fight to get unlockables. You literally do every mission. I don't know. I just don't like the mode personally, but it is a really cool mode. So I'm 50 50 on it. So that's a really cool addition because it gives you extra stuff to do for the game. More content, the better, right? They put in an arcade mode, but a month and a half later, kind of. So One Just is released in Japan, and then they patched in an arcade mode in the Japanese release of the game. Most likely with you guys, you're either going to get it on the base disc. Or day one download, you're gonna have to have a patch for uh, the US version of One's Justice. Keep it a stack. Arcade mode is whack to me because I play so many fighting games that have better arcade modes. This one is actually frustrating. Other anime games in the past have had arcade modes and they give you cutscene screenshots or some background of the future or what if saga for this character. I remember, I think the old Dragon Ball games used to do something like that when you beat the mode, you get some Xenia or something. In this mode, you get character customization items that you can possibly unlock in other avenues of the game. There's more places to unlock pieces for an equipment to customize your character. And I feel like the arcade mode could have been so much more potential because it could have literally just been after you fight all the six characters. You can also fight a Nomu, by the way. You're going to get like a screenshot or some cutscene or some like you know, slideshow of like, hey, this is the character's story or background or them aiming to be a greatest hero or about the villains trying to take over the world. It didn't do that. It just fell flat. It gave you Zenny. It gave you a peaceful item and something for online. Now, I'm saving online for the last part of the video. Whew. Now, we talking about the gameplay and we talking about the freaking, the freaking online. Now, let me get on this gameplay. I'm about to roast. You see my camera? It, it's too much heat up in here. Well, bam. Got to bring it back a little bit. Because they know I was about to roast One Justice Online. One Justice Online is the most infuriating arena fighter I've dealt with in a while. Now, let me tell you why. First thing first, most anime arena fighters, anime games in period, you can always block in the air. Even 2D arena fighters, or I mean, two, I said 2D arena fighters. 2D, 2D. 2D fighting games, they let you block in the air. You get what I'm saying? Blaze Blue lets you block while holding back in the air, I believe. Other games let you block in the air. You know, it's it's just absurd that in an arena fighter where everything you should be able to see the whole atmosphere, you can't block in the air. A lot of you are like, hmm, yeah, yeah. What's so bad about not being able to block in the air? My Hero Academia wants justice. The gameplay is really, really floaty. It's really, really floaty to the T. You're gonna be in the air most of the time. Most of the gameplay, you're floaty. You're gonna be in the air airborne fighting other opponents. You're gonna be up there a lot. Most characters' combos transition from two hits off the ground and then end you in the air and then you go into a wall splat. The camera's kinda crazy sometimes because the camera doesn't work. Sometimes it'll work against you or it'll work with you. So it's like, you don't know if anything is consistent or inconsistent in this game because you just feel like everything is just luck based and RNG. You just like, why am I going through the wall and I'm stuck in the wall and I can't do nothing to get out of it? You're gonna be going capiche. Now, with One's Justice, I want to break it down to y'all. I do want to break it down that the game is fun. I think the game is really fun. The online mode though is atrocious. There is no spectating mode with friends nor is there no invite button yes in 2018 you cannot use a freaking invite button to invite your friends to play this game i don't know what went through by king's head but why is there no invite button in a fighting game it's supposed to be ease of access to be like hey you talking smack i'm talking smack bet i bet you won't run the set though hit that invite button and then you get it popping see it ain't like that it, it, you don't get that in this game dog it, it ain't there, you get what I'm saying? It's 
It makes me so mad. It, 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 it hurts my heart that that's not there. That is like a key component to any fighting game. Give me an invite button. Let me invite my friends. I don't care if you have one-on-one -on -one lobbies. Just let me invite my people so they can join the game. Like, why is that not a feature? And uh, that, that's probably going to be the biggest frustration with a lot of people. Why is there no invite button? When you just guard an opponent's attack, when you do it, it doesn't stop them. They can keep mashing the button. So you have to literally just guard every attack of that string or every button they press of that string to be defensed. If you don't do it, you're going to get put back into the combo. It's it's like, why? Why didn't it just make it to where it just completely halts the opponent's movements? That way, it's balanced because you got some characters that do multi-hitting attacks, and you have to hit the button, like, really freaking. Like, you literally have to be like... Now, let's answer the final question that a lot of fans have been wanting to know about My Hero Academia One's Justice. Should you buy it on Nintendo Switch or should you buy it on PS4? Now, right now, I'm on a PS4 Pro playing One's Justice. So, right now, once I switched from a PS4 to PS4 Pro, I had less problems with the game. There was freezes where in the menu, if somebody didn't accept your match invite, the game would just crash. It would just freeze tremendously for me. It could just be an error on like my download or something like that. But I don't want to re-download this game. I don't want to do it. 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 So I would prefer to you, I would just honest to God tell you the truth that you should get this game on whatever console you feel comfortable with. Like get it on the Nintendo Switch or get it on the freaking PS4. You know, I'm so ass backwards. I pointed to the opposite thing and I was like, I would tell you guys, get the game if you really want something My Hero related. And then for people that love Mineta, he is not in this game. He is not unlockable. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. For people that were hoping for a dub of One's Justice, that is not happening anymore. I'm sorry, it's, it's going to be subbed in every language, but they just confirmed that this game will only have English subbing. So Japanese um, voice actors with English subtitles. So keep that in mind. You won't have English voice acting. I know how a lot of people feel about it. I recently experienced the Once Justice dub from the movie. I enjoyed it a lot. I see why a lot of people are attached to it. Because Bakugo in English is so freaking raw. I, 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 I feel that. I feel that. So I apologize about that. But look, that being said, comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me how you guys feel. This is the end of my One Justice Before You Buy on my short little My Hero Academia One Justice little review that I was doing for the game. I want y'all to know that this game was pretty fun. It has a lot of flaws, but I don't think it's worth $60. It should have been priced at $30 and $40. It's still a fun game though. So if you want to have something my hero to play, I still play at least at least sometimes like once or twice a week or if I find somebody else that want to play. You know, this game is kind of cool. So, it's your boy, I will tell y'all, y'all. See you guys later. You guys are golden, and that is raw. Peace.